Hey guys, this is a lock from Florian Clausen in Germany. It is a Winkhaus that uh, he got at the university when they were changing out their locks. Uh, these are the old ones. Um, the yellow tape, he asked me to cover up all the numbers of the keys, and the Germans have a tendency to stamp everything with serial numbers and of course the lock itself, but it doesn't matter. Uh, lock works beautifully. It is a five pin lock. There's what the bidding is. Pretty good bidding on it. And those little dimples you see on the side there. In fact, there's two on the other side as well. Those are just for key control. Those are passive pins. And uh, at least on the Winkhaus, you do not have to pick those. Those are just to restrict which uh, locksmith has which uh, key. So it's just key control. It does work beautifully. And we won't need that stinking key because we are going to try to pick it. All right, let's see what we got going here. Clamp that dude up. Get it nice and tight. Let's go ahead and just make sure it does work again. Make sure we're not clamping anything too tight. And I'm going to use, let me find my thin one. I think we can get a top of the keyway. Let me zoom in just a little bit there. There we go. Try some top of the keyway action, and that is not going to work. Okay, let's try bottom of the keyway. Well, let's use that same tension wrench and see if we can't. And I say bottom now that I've looked at it. When you look at this keyway, um, you notice that on the bottom we got all of this warding. This is uh, one of the protections that Vinkaus takes advantage of is really strong warding and very paracentric or curvy keyway. So it doesn't matter if we use bottom of the keyway here because that warding is going to prevent us. If we use top of the keyway, that warding is going to prevent us from using all that space anyway. So I'm going to try to fit a bottom of the keyway in there. That's not going to work. Let me try... I have a little... It's a little serrated thing. I usually use that only on the top of the keyway, but it looks like it'll fit in here. That ought to work and kind of gives me good control both ways. So we'll just try that. All right, now uh, we got that settled. Um, I'm going to try a 15 thousandths because it is very strong warding and a standard hook or short hook. And try to wiggle it to the rear. Get in there. I can already tell that warding going to be a killer. Get in there. Okay, a little light tension. And let's see what we got. Yeah, I can feel it hitting the warding. I've got a feeling that this little short hook is not able to get around that corner enough. I can pick the low cut ones, but I can't pick the high cut ones. It's too fat and I mean too, uh, yeah, too wide and not deep enough hook. So what I'm going to do, I happen to have a pick here somewhere. This is an uh, a pick. I got this from Sparrows. It is a SS Dev. It's one of three picks designed by SS Dev. It's a German lock picking company. It's a German lock, so I probably should have grabbed this thing first. These are designed with a very fine, almost like a needle tip. You don't have to go around the warding. You can actually bypass the warding from the bottom and f use uh, the same uh, breech that the, uh, the pins use. So it kind of bypasses the warding. You can't do that with the other hook I was trying to use. Okay, seems to work. And then you just kind of feel around until you're on the pin and not the warding, because there are definite slots cut for those pins through the warding. And there we go. I have a fault set. I just touched pin 5. Got pretty light tension on this thing. Now what I'm doing, I'm looking for any kind of counter rotation. Because with a fault, there we go, it's on pin 3. Very slight counter rotation. Telling me he's probably a spool. Alright, so I got him. We still have our fault set, so that's a good sign. We're still in the game. Again, I'm looking for more counter rotation. I, I like that stuff. OK. 
Okay, nothing. Okay, I'm on pin four. I see very slight counter rotation. Ooh, I said slight and then all of a sudden it jerked. So that is probably a deep spool and now we've lost our fault set. So there we go. Open. So pin five had popped back down. So this thing's got spools, probably three spools and uh, two standards. Anyway, there you go. The Winkhaus from Florian Clausen. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. If anybody would like to have this lock, comes with two keys. I'm going to grind off the serial numbers before I send them to you. And uh, I'll, you know what you got to do. Leave a comment in the next 24 hours and then the computer will randomly pick the winner. And I'll send it to you anywhere on the planet Earth. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Remember, you only got about two more days to make uh, recommendations on improvements and have a chance to win that uh, Sparrow's Vorax. So there's the email you need to send your uh, recommendations to to get in the game. Thanks, guys. <laughs>